I'll be back real soon with your puppy food. Hey, a rubber band! I'd better save this. You never know when a rubber band might come in handy. Oh, a second rubber band! Howdy, Putt Putt! Hello, Mr. Kibble! What kinds of puppy food do you have today? I'd like to get something special for Pep. Well, your timing couldn't be better. I just got some new flavors in. Spicy taco, kiwi, peanut butter, and new improved original with lumps. I'd love to get Pep's advice on which flavor he likes best. Is he with you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Kibble. Pep stayed home. He's sad because he's never had a birthday party. Well, I'd be sad too. Why hasn't Pep had a birthday party? Well, I really don't know when his birthday is. He was just a lost little puppy when I found him in that cave. Why not celebrate Pep's birthday on the day you first met? When was that? Let's see. The anniversary of when we met would be... Tomorrow! That's your answer right there. Tomorrow can be his birthday. Wow, what a great idea. And how about we throw him a surprise party? Pep loves surprises. That sounds terrific. And I already know what I'm going to give Pep for his birthday. One of these brand new top-notch collars. That would be swell, Mr. Kibble. A new collar would be the perfect gift for Pep. Say, can I get Pep a new dog tag to go with the collar? You bet. Did I hear someone mention a birthday party? <laughs> Hi, Putt-Putt. Hello, Ms. Widget. Yes, we're going to throw a surprise party for Pep. Will you help us? Of course. I've planned so many fabulous parties that I've got it down to a science. Here's one of my special surprise party planning bags. It's got room for everything you'll need. Balloons, party favors and decorations, confirmation from a magician, your gift for Pep, and a big beautiful party cake. Thanks, Ms. Widget. If I can get all of these things, it'll be the best surprise party ever. That's the spirit. And be sure to come by my party store later. I'll whip up a big happy birthday banner just for Pep. I sure will. Thanks, Ms. Widget. Putt Putt, don't forget to bring Pep back to try my new puppy food flavors. And while he's here, I can measure his neck size for his new dog collar. Will do, Mr. Kibble. Hey, Pep. Mr. Kibble has some exciting new flavors of puppy food, and he'd like you to come try them. One of them's new and improved. Hello again, Putt-Putt. And hello there, Pep. Hey, Pep, it's our old friend, Mr. Kibble. Why don't you give him a big hug? Go ahead.
ahead and try those new flavors, Pep. I wonder which he'll choose. Will it be spicy taco, kiwi, peanut butter, or new improved original with lumps? Let's see which one Pep liked. Spicy taco. Can we get that in a doggy bag? Certainly. Here you go, on the house. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Kibble. Will there be anything else today? I think Pep might enjoy a frolic in your new ball hut. Well, of course. Pep, why don't you dive right in? What's in this crate, Mr. Kibble? That's a brand new machine for making any sort of fancy dog tag. Why haven't you taken it out of the crate yet? I still haven't finished reading all the instructions on how to put it together. I understand. Instructions can be complicated. Here, Pep. The Mama Duck could use your help. I guess that's what you call getting your ducks in a row. Good boy, Pep. Now that the baby ducks are safely in the pond, I can continue driving. Mildred? Hi, Pot Pot. Do you have any mail for me to deliver? No, but I've got a surprise. Can you keep a secret? Of course, I'm a mail truck. I don't read your postcards and I keep secrets. We're giving Pep a surprise birthday party tomorrow and I want to invite everyone. Splendid! I'll spread the word to everyone. Everyone but Pep. I've got a secret, I just had to let you know I've got a secret, a place you need to go It's the party of the century that no one knows about Simply everyone will be there, do not let the secret out And the secret way to act there, and the secret thing to wear Is to look your best and love everybody there I could climb the highest mountain. I could shout it out all day. I could sing an operetta. Testing, testing. One, two, three. There will be puppies and birthday gifts and cake. Sixteen tons of bunnies and duckies from the lake. And the limo from the mansion, and the grocer from the store, and some Martians from a putt putt game that you have played before, and the attitude to have there, and the way to comb your hair is to look your best and love everybody there. Just look your best and love everybody there. Just look your best and love everybody there. Just look your best, love everybody there. Here, Pep. Aren't little duckies fun? Those big boxes. Yes. 
Those are new party supplies I was bringing to the store. The boxes are filled with hats and streamers and heavy party things. I got to the door, and when I tried to unlock it, I dropped the key. Oh, no! It gets worse! When I dropped the key, that big old crow swooped down and took it. I can't get into the store without that key!